G'day viewers, this is Troy from the Troy's Digital Arts channel. I've just recently built myself a, another video to a oscilloscope circuit. I built one about nine years back, but it was giving less than satisfactory pictures. Um, although the uh, the guy who made who designed the circuit, he was getting quite nice pictures on his scope. So I don't know what happened with my with my uh, circuit build, but Anyway, I decided to look up on YouTube a, a video to oscilloscope videos and look for a for a circuit that gives a very nice picture. And I came across a video made by Alan Wolf W two A E W, and he provided the he uh, showed a video of his. Uh, circuit design and um, the output pictures and provided the schematics in a PDF link and I uh, copied it almost to the T. I used uh, BC549 and BC559 transistors, they're the low noise variety. Um, I'm not sure what transistors Alan used on these but anyway I used uh, the BC series. But anyway, it's pretty much mostly to the T, and sure enough, it works pretty good. And um, right now, I'm uh, playing. Uh, I'm playing a, a DVD recording of a screen uh, recording of Fallout 3. Yeah, I've been pretty hooked on the Fallout series lately, the game series, and I thought it was only appropriate to. Uh, play to record a video from the Fallout gameplay and uh, play it on my oscilloscope because of the fact that um, the uh, computers in Fallout 3 have green monochrome screens as well as the as well as the uh, pip boy the uh, main character wears so basically Fallout's pretty much atom punk uh, sort of sort of um, technology it's kind of like in a sense it's based um, in the future a couple of hundred years in the future yet it's uh, it's tropes are pretty much 1950s uh, cars and and um, yeah music and fashion and all that and 1970s early 80s uh, monochrome computer technology and of course futuristic looking uh, weapons and armour. Anyway, I thought it looked good on a green screen oscilloscope. So here it is. And I'm, as I speak I'm uh, screen recording it so I'm going to upload um, screen recording to YouTube. Anyway, Yeah, I actually built the. I actually wanted, really wanted to output um, Fallout to a oscilloscope. So yeah, I felt compelled to make a decent um, video to a oscilloscope circuit. I actually, I actually used the other circuit originally um, to play the the Fallout video to the scope, but I was getting extremely crappy results, barely a discernible picture at all. So opted to make the uh, new circuit and I'm very I'm actually very pleased with the uh, picture coming out of it it is still noisy of course but that's just probably the oscilloscope either that or maybe I need to put noise shielding around the uh, video lines I don't know but either way the picture is um, is extremely watchable in comparison to that of the old circuit I was using. Anyway, um, yeah, the uh, problem with the circuit though is the picture is rather stretched at the top end to the right hand side. I think the right hand side, or could be the left. I'm not sure at this because um, I can't really see uh, anything noticeably uh, stretched. Actually no it is to the right from memory. 
anyway, yeah, the pitch is a bit stretched off the top and the right hand side. Either it's a, either it's a circuit or the uh, the circuit actually was des was designed for an NTSC signal. So and I'm outputting a PAL signal. So maybe maybe it, that might have something to do with it. And I have to make a few little mods to the circuit to make it run great with with a power signal. But either ways, it's working and it's displaying a beautiful picture. And I'm yeah, I'm really pleased. Anyhow, thought I'd share this with you. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably make uh, quite a few uh, video to scope videos of of uh, various things from music videos to camera videos to whatever and stick them up on YouTube. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out.